Our local atmosphere still remains moist and rather unsettled with that nearby disturbance out there in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. But we could be seeing a few more showers that are still trailing behind. So some of that moisture is set to affect Tobago as we go through your Saturday, eventually drifting south towards Trinidad as well. So there's still the chance that we'll see some of those showers turning heavy and thundery as we go through Saturday and possibly into Sunday. So let's take a look at the forecast then uh, for tonight across Tobago. We're still expecting a partly cloudy skies and as well those scattering of showers, especially for those northern areas such as Charlottesville, Roxburgh and Palatuvier. We will we'll be seeing most of the clouds drift Drifting in from a Grenada, pushing into parts of northern northern Tobago. So look for a scattering of showers that could be heavy as well as you go through your Saturday morning and afternoon. Likely be a medium chance of you seeing some of those heavier bursts and also scattering all the way down to parts of southern Tobago by nightfall. Meanwhile, for Trinidad overnight, there's partly cloudy skies. Most of the showers will be a affecting the hillsides of the northern range. But as you go through your Saturday morning, look for the clouds to thicken along the north coast through Turco and Blanchichez. Scattering of showers will eventually drift towards the central and possibly southern areas of Trinidad. So during the heat of the day, there'll be no surprise that we could be seeing some of those heavier showers as well as some of those thunderstorms erupting, especially during the mid-morning into the middle of the afternoon. Down towards the Rio Claro and the San Fernando, scattering of showers could turn heavy or thundery here as well. Now, temperature wise, it's still looking at a relatively warm 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 25 degrees Celsius likely in parts of Tobago. But tomorrow will likely still feel comfortable for Tobago, looking at temperatures of maybe about 30 degrees Celsius as they go through their Saturday, dropping down to about 29 through Sunday and Monday. Still rather unsettled across uh, much of the southern Windward Islands throughout this weekend. Now, we'll see a bit of a break as you go through Tuesday. Now, for fisher folk as well as mariners and sea bathers, still looking for moderate to occasionally choppy seas out there in the Caribbean, but it could turn occasionally rough as well out there offshore in the Atlantic. Three meters expected here with those easterly swells still coming by and those east east southeasterly winds of 50 knots, but it could turn gusty in those offshore downpours. Now, we are going through the end of October into November. We are still in the hurricane season. We usually see a drop off in the activity, but this season has been rather unusual usual near record pace as we've seen over the last uh, few months we have 24 7 named storms we're just one away from the record of 28 back in 2005 so we'll be picking up a disturbance which is associated with that tropical wave now becoming more concentrated more defined and that uh, system will eventually move westward over some warm waters 30 degrees celsius in places and that will likely see some development of uh, this uh, system as it gets closer towards uh, central america so you could be seeing a depression forming through this weekend or maybe early next week and obviously it will have impacts across the Central America but regardless still looking at some of those heavier showers especially affecting uh, Jamaica as we go through late Saturday going into Sunday. Out towards uh, Haiti as well as the Dominican Republic occasional showers are expected here with the northern tip of that tropical wave but for the Leeward Islands there's still a bit of Saharan dust around pushing in so dusty haze expected for Antigua, St. Kitts coming all the way down to St. Lucia and then down towards the southern Windward Islands we will pick up the remnants of uh, that tropical wave some of that moisture as well, especially for St. Vincent and Grenada. And then down towards Georgetown, partly sunny skies and uh, mostly settled weather, at least for the first part of Saturday in Ghana. So that's your weather and that's it for me.